Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial we're going to discuss on how to customize your background. In previous tutorials I did show you how to open up File Explorer, Control Panel, and adjust some things on your Windows 8 desktop with no Start button being there any longer. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate to our Personalize because that's where we customize everything. Now there's several different ways to get there. The first way is to go ahead and do a right click on your desktop and in the drop down menu as you can see all the way down at the bottom you have the word personalize so if you do a left click it's going to take us to the options where we have to go ahead and, and you know personalize our desktop but just to show you that there's multiple ways to get there let's go ahead and close it another way to get to the same thing is if you're under a control panel which I have an icon for control panel on my desktop just go ahead and do a double click that's a left double click and under appearance and personalization here in this category do a left click and here it is it again personalization so do a left click over that and there we go it takes us to the same location but there is one other way and that is once you're on the desktop you can access your charms also take your pointer all the way to the top right and click on settings at the bottom in the charms do a left click as you can see here you have access to your control panel and uh, your personalization also so let's go ahead and do a left click so that's just three different ways to get to the same place depending on what you're doing on your computer. But once we're here, what I want to show you in this tutorial is how to change your desktop background and how to change your color for your windows. Now, let's go ahead and click on the bottom of our window. We have desktop background here. Let's go ahead and do a left click. And what it what it wants you to do is is go ahead and select a picture within the certain within a certain location. So as you see here it says picture location. If you click on the drop down menu, you have several options to choose from. You have the default Windows desktop backgrounds that come with Windows 8. You have your pictures libraries. You have a, 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 per, a personal photo of somebody or yourself or of an animal or of a background or scenery or something. You can go ahead and, and select that also. Uh, you have top rated photos. You can even do solid colors. Um, if you have like a, an, a flash drive or a, a uh, USB drive, whatever you want to call it, or an external hard drive that's USB and you have it plugged into your computer, it will even populate in this list here so you can access a photo or something or a picture that you drew maybe on your flash drive or external hard drive. Now let's go ahead and just change our background. Right now we have a picture of a flower, nice beautiful blue background but you know we're getting kind of tired of it, we're tired of the color, we just want to change. What you can do is simply just do a left click over anything and let's just select this, uh, this, this background here. Now it's not going to keep it unless I click save changes on the bottom right. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's exit out of personalization. And as you can see, now we have a different background. So that that's basically it. That's all you do to change your background. So let's go ahead and do right click on the desktop, go to personalize again, and go to desktop background. But as you can see, I really don't have a lot to choose from. So you do have an option though. Um, one one side I do recommend going to because they do have a lot of nice pictures. And we'll go ahead and navigate there also is going to be Microsoft.com. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and I'll have an icon for it down here on my taskbar. Now let's just navigate to the website in the address bar. Now it's just going to be www.microsoft.com. Once you're there, let's go ahead and click on their downloads right under the, the company name. And let's click where it says all Windows downloads. Let's do a left click there. Once we're here, as you can see, it's got several options where you can download different languages, get language packs, personalization gallery, wallpapers, themes. Right now, let's go ahead and click on see all desktop backgrounds. So click here. And as you can see, I have several different ones. These are the, it's in the newest category right now, the newest wallpapers. So these are some of the newest ones they've recently added to their website. As you can see, there's a lot of pretty pictures to choose from here. Let's go ahead and on the bottom click all wallpapers. And this is going to show us all the different backgrounds that we have to choose from from the Microsoft website, the download. So as you can see, there's just plenty and plenty and plenty of pictures to go through. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and pick one so I can show you. Uh, let's see here. Kind of getting sick of looking at a blue background, so let's pick something that really doesn't have a whole lot of blue in it. And how about this green carambola? Carambolas? not really quite sure what that is but it looks like some kind of fruit vegetable I'm sure somebody can let me know what that is not a very healthy person well I do eat healthy foods but 
not as much as I should, but whatever, that's a whole different topic. Let's go ahead and do a right click on the picture. Now you have two different options here. You can go ahead and do a left click on set as background, which is going to go ahead and set it as a background. But it's going to save the picture in a temporary location on your computer. My recommendation, you don't have to do is, is do a save picture as. Let's go ahead and do a left click there. And typically you want to keep everything uh, organized, so I'm going to keep it under my pictures uh, uh, folder. Let's go ahead and name this uh, Caram Carambolus, whatever that is. I think it's a food. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. Let's go ahead and close that. And now, once we're back in here under uh, our personalized, let's go to our pictures library because that's where we saved it under the pictures location. And let's uncheck the good old American bald eagle, uncheck these ducks, and keep the carambolas. And save change, close it, and there you go. I changed the background again. But this time it was something that I didn't have on my computer. And now if we go to our file explorer and click on our pictures library, as you can see, I have two pictures that were already there, but I did save the Carambolas uh, picture. Like I said, if you do a, a, set as back, a set as background, it will still be there. You can still reuse it. It's just going to put it in a temporary location on your computer. And just in case, you, for quick access, you want to make sure you put it somewhere that you're really familiar with. So let's go ahead and close it out of there. And one other thing I want to show you before you finish, go back to personalize, is the color. Right now, as you can see, we have kind of this like faint green color uh, for our for our windows. Every every window that opens up on this bar down here and, and around the border, there's this faint green color. But I really don't like it. Um, just want something else. So let's go ahead and click on color. And we have several different options to choose from. Let's go back with the blue again. Uh, I kind of didn't like it, but I like it now. Again, I changed my mind. And that blue kind of does look nice with that green background. So, But you can also change the color intensity. You can make it like a darker or a lighter blue. Um, let's go ahead and make it as dark as possible. Hit Save Changes. As you can see now, my taskbar down at the bottom changed color. The borders around my window changed color. So what I did here is change the background, and I also changed the borders around my windows and my taskbar. So those are two different ways to go ahead and personalize your, your Windows 8 desktop. And that does conclude this tutorial. And in the next further tutorials, we're going to go over some further customization. But that does conclude everything we have for today. I do thank you guys for watching, and thank you for your time.